Breaking news. U.S. government indict Buhari Osibanjo reveals massive looting within the administration. Hello, my wonderful people. You know the funniest thing with, um, you know, with um, the U.S. and other, you know, the Western nations of the world? You may think that you are running your own financial whatever and that um, it, nobody has an eye in it. They won't touch your money, but I tell you sincerely, they know how money moves. They know. They know how the money moves, where the money is being moved from, to where. They know, that's why, you know, some people will withdraw. For instance, you see Anambra Willie withdraw 48 billion in one day. 48 billion in one day. Because of, you know what, they are monitoring. But it could be found that he withdrew 48 billion naira in one day. The U.S. government now is telling Nigerians, telling every one of us. Now listen, oh, the Buhari's administration, Buhari's administration, Buhari and Osibanjo, there is massive looting ongoing with that very, uh, with, you know, with the party, with, with, the, with the administration. Let's get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Thank you. The U.S. government indicts Buhari Osibanjo reveals massive looting. Despite repeated claim that the ruling of Progressive Congress regime has recorded sustainable success in tackling corruption and preventing looting of Nigerian Treasury, the U.S. government is said that has been has indicted President Muhammadu Buhari and the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo and have not covered themselves in glory as massive looting continues. The U.S. said Masses, Buhari and Osibanjo, including governors, took advantage of the immunity attached to their position to perpetrate corrupt acts and misappropriation of public funds massively. This indictment is contained in an annual country report of human rights practice covering international recognized individual, civil, political and work rights. In a section of the report titled Corruption, the Lack of Transparency in Government, the American government noted that while Nigeria law penal, penal, penalizes corruption, enforcement was not followed through. The report said this allowed government employees, included, including elected officers, to partake in massive corrupt practices. Massive widespread corruption affecting all levels of government, including the judiciary. We see how money is being transferred and money is moving hand from judiciary to security services. That's why the insecurity in Nigeria continues. Constitution provides immunity for civil and criminals perpetrating these atrocious hearts in Nigeria for the president, the vice president and the governors, deputy governors, why in office, the report said. This has not allowed Nigeria to experience any true and transparent government. The report, which covers 198 countries and, terror and territories, including noted that the ongoing human rights abuse and violation, worldwide evidence in the regression of democratic system on several continents, is stressed there are various allegations of government corrupt de corruption, despite the so-called anti-corruption campaign by President Muhammad Buhari's regime. Corruption is increasing in the country, with Nigeria ranking 154 out of 180 countries of the world, according to the Transparency International 2021 Corrupt Index. My dear, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. You know, uh, People Glazier has reported that Osibanjo involvement in violation federal campaign finance law as, you know, Guarantee Trust Bank donated at least 200 million to his campaign. Guarantee Trust Bank has donated 200 million to his campaign. The financial record shows GDP investment, investment, one fund management department paid 200 million in three installments, 150 million and 50 million to Mr. Simba Joe's campaign account in the build up to the 2015 presidential election. So a lot, a lot of things has been going on.
This is even before the Sibanjo started seeing the money and what have you. The U.S. said what they are saying, if they tell Nigerians what is going on, the people will be scared of the people they, they call, the people they have in government. Nigerians will be thoroughly scared. And they are letting Nigerians know that it cuts across all arms of government. All arms. All arms of government. He said the, 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 the whatever in Nigeria, the corruption has increased. Despite Buhari coming on the note telling them that he was going to fight corruption, the corruption has increased. It's on the, it's on the high side. More than ever before, it's more terrible than you can ever imagine. They said from judiciary, judiciary collecting money for bribes and the rest. Governors, senators, house of rep, security. That's why, let me tell you something, that's why the insecurity continues. They will not allow it to end unless God says it ends. I'm telling you, the security, the insecurity in the country, security agents are part of it. Take it or leave it. You may not like it, but it's the truth. They are part of it to a large extent. If they are not part of it, they will fight it vehemently. Who told you Nigerian army is weak? Who told you Nigerian army has not got what it takes to end insecurity if they want to be honest, sincere, and fight it square on if we have honest people? Do you know if, we, for instance, we even have one honest or two honest people in the, in the administration, they will kill them before the time. They will indict them, they will stain their hands, and they will get them off the track because they don't want anybody to disturb them. I, I put it to you that money has oil. Money is a God of his own. Do you know in the whole of the Bible, there is no other God compared to the Most High God. There is no other God. They didn't call any other thing God. Even Satan, he was not called a God. He's the, he's the God of Mamo. He's called Mamo. Money. Ah, have you not heard of Father killing his own wife, his own children because of money? That is the God of Mamo. In fact, when he gets into a man's life, he begins to, you know, greed sets in. The man becomes un, 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 unsatisfied. Give him a house. He wants a Lexus. Okay, top hand with Lexus. He said uh, he does not have money in the account. Okay, put 20 million in the account. He wishes it is 20 billion. Put 20 billion. It could be 20 trillion. You, you can imagine it, it's endless. It's an endless pit. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. It just goes on and on and on. So the time to make the real difference is now. Rising up to the occasion is now. So at the end of the day, we are better people. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.